What does this mean for Iraq's oil production? Here to provide insight, Matt Badiali, the research analyst for Stansberry Research. Matt, we welcome you back to America's Forum. Thanks very much for having me today. Matt, Iraq, the seventh largest producer of crude oil in the world. What is the current unraveling of Iraq doing to the oil markets and specifically the price of the pump here in the United States? Well, right now, uh, it hasn't really had an impact on uh, Iraq's oil production. So most of the fighting has gone on in the western third of the country and the oil fields. Um, I was in Iraq. I was in uh, Erbil last October, which is the, the capital of the Kurdistan region. And the Kurds have pretty much kept the fighting out of their area and they control about a quarter of Iraq's oil. And then you have the supplies that are in the southeast that have pretty much been away from um, the, the unrest to this point. So they're still putting out about 3.3 million barrels a day. And the, the, the way it looks right now, that's not, gonna, that's not gonna fall off unless things get really bad. And it has the potential to. Um, trouble in Iraq probably isn't gonna make a material difference. It, it will probably raise our oil prices slightly, but so far we haven't seen a big impact on the world price or here at home. So Matt, do you think that the U.S. will now will begin to export oil? I hope so. I, I think that's the road we have to take. Um, and that yesterday's ruling is a really big deal, uh, um, allowing uh, Pioneer Natural Resources and one other company to begin shipping what they call condensate, which is just a very ultra light crude oil uh, without having to run it through refineries. Up to this point, we've been, uh, there's been an end run by a lot of the companies around the law that says we can't export crude oil. They run it through a very simple distillation process. Then it's considered a, a refined product, which is legal to ship. So we've been sending a lot of oil out already as refined product. But this, this new ruling, I think, is, is really the crack in the dam that's going to lead to full-scale exports, and I think that's a good thing. Matt, with just about 45 seconds to go, there's been a lot of optimism placed in the U.S. oil reserves because of hydraulic mm -hmm. fracturing. Are we looking at a point now where we can start turning our attention away from the Middle East and focusing more here on home uh, for our own oil consumption and production? Absolutely, absolutely, especially with what's going on in Mexico. Uh, North America is going to become the world's dominant petroleum product uh, producer, I think, in the next five to ten years. There's no question. We have a we have a world class endowment. Our engineers are the smartest in the world. They're figuring this stuff out. Uh, the only thing that could possibly get us would be a political slip up. And with the improvements to the economy brought on by the fracking so far, I don't see the politicians getting in the way of this revolution at all. We'll have to leave it right there. Matt Battiali, we thank you for that optimistic prediction. And we're coming right back.